Hey guys, how you doing? Dave from Cook and Share here. So today, I have a pizza. I have a burger. Ah, pizza burger. So let's get cooking. We're going to get started here with half a kilo of lean ground beef, and that's about a pound. Added a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. A couple of tablespoons of pizza sauce, because it is pizza burgers. A teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Four or five drops of Tabasco sauce, just to give it some zip. Go ahead and add in some salt and pepper according to your liking. And last but not least, two or three cloves of crushed garlic. So I'm going to begin mixing here with my wooden spoon. Then get down and dirty with my hands just to make sure everything is nicely combined. By the way, how do you fix a broken pizza? With tomato paste. <laughs> All right, what you want to do now is grab up, oh, I'd say about a quarter of the mixture and simply shape it into a burger patty. Okay, now we're going to fry up the burger patty. So what you want to do is throw the burger in and crank up your heat to medium high. And we're going to fry this, oh, I'd say for about three to four minutes on each side, just to the point where it's nicely browned. Something like this. This is just about perfect. And I should add, you can grill this or bake this, you know, it's entirely up to you. Now it's time for the special pizza additions. So what we're going to do is put a slice of that ooey gooey mozzarella on, followed by about three or four pieces of pepperoni. Slip a lid on for a minute or two and just let that cheese melt down. Wow, doesn't this look yummy? Alrighty, I've toasted up a couple of buns here, so we're going to go ahead and slip the patty on. Spread some of my homemade pizza sauce over the top portion of the bun. You can use store-bought stuff too. Put the top on, and you're good to go. And there you have it guys, our incredibly yummy pizza burger. Mmm, this is so good. Whoever thought you could get your two favorite foods into one, just like magic. For the full scoop on this recipe and many more great recipes, head on over to cookandshare.com, give us a thumbs up, and most of all, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.